Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to record into an SQL Server database using Django Web Framework. Now we will check the final output. The student name is Charan, student email, charan at gmail.com. The mobile number is 12345. Now before insert the records, let's check in our database. Uh, let's execute. Right now this table contains zero rows. Let's insert. Click insert. Record is saved successfully. Click OK. Now let's check in our database. I'm executing the table. So here we got the challenge details is added successfully. Let's add the another record is uh, Peter pet at gmail.com. The mobile number is 979. Click insert. Record is saved successfully. Click OK. Now we'll check in our database. Click execute. So here we got the Peter details are inserted successfully. That's it. In this video, I have shown how to insert records into an SQL Server database in Django Web Tutorials. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before creating a new Django web application, first we will create a new table in SQL Server Management Studio. I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio and expanding the root folder. After that, I am expanding the databases folder also. Notice in these databases, there is a CM folder which is our user database. I want to create a new table in this database so first let me expand this same database as well as a tables folder now to create the table in this database select the database right click the mouse click new query now let's write the query to create a table create table st student table st table is a student table name let's add the columns student id integer type not now I'm adding primary key for this column and it's an identity one comma one comma student name and varchar hundred student email and varchar hundred and the last one is a student mobile which is an integer type just for the demo purpose I'm adding only four columns in the, this student table let's execute to create this table click execute and here I got a message command completed successfully. Let's refresh this folder. I click the tables folder, click refresh. So here we got the ST table is added successfully. Let me browse this table, right click the table name, select the person those. Alright now this newly created table, ST table contains zero rows. Now my aim is I want to insert some records into this table using Django web application. Before creating a new Django web application, first we'll create a new folder in this local disk D drive. I click the mouse, click new and select folder. And the folder name is uh, insert, insert record SQL server, enter. Let's browse this folder. Right now this folder is totally empty. Now let's create a new Django web application in this folder. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a Django web application. Go to file, click open folder. First we'll add our folder name, select folder. And the folder is added successfully to the Explorer panel. At the right side, we've got welcome page. Let's close this welcome page. Now let's create a new Django web application in this folder. Go to view, click terminal. And here we got a terminal, which is nothing but a command prompt. And if you notice the path is the insert record SQL server, which is our the folder name. And this folder contains in this D drive. Now let's create a new Django web application in that folder. And Django hyphen admin start project and the project name is insert rec insert rec is my Django application name 
and the project is successfully created inside this folder. Let me expand this application. And this application contains one subfolder with the same project name and one the manage.py python file. And also let me expand this subfolder. This subfolder contains some python files, settings.py, urls. All these files and folders has been created automatically when I create this application inside RC. Now the next step, let's copy this application name cd inside the card. So now I have added the project also to this path. Now after that, the next step, when we want to see the output on the browser, we require one HTML pages. So in Django, we put all the HTML pages in a folder called templates. So let's add the templates folder in the uh, application. Select the application, right click the mouse, click new folder and add the folder name is templates. And here we got the templates folder. Now in this templates folder, we'll add a HTML pages. Right click the mouse, click new file. The file name is, I'm adding index.html. And here we got our index.html page. Now before adding the designing part in this page, first we'll add the models. Uh, select the subfolder, right click the mouse, click new file. The file name is a models.py enter. And here we got our models.py. And this models.py contains a class with the properties. So before that, we must add our the models class from django.db from the database I'm importing models then I'm creating a class class inset data is my class name models dot model m is capital here column of that we'll add some properties in this class the properties if you check in our database, this ST table contains four columns, student ID, student name, email, and mobile name. But the student ID is an auto generated column, so I'm not adding this uh, property for this uh, column. So I require this name, email, and mobile numbers, the properties. Student name is equals to morals dot capital, C is cap capital, and F is capital careful max underscore length is equals to 100 let's copy this one the second one is student email student email and the last one is a student mobile and the student mobile is an integer data type so more start integer field that's it after adding the properties in this class inside this models page now let's save this file say all now we'll create a view space to call these models again right click the subfolder click new file and the file name is of views of py and here we got our views of py page now in this views first let's import the necessary classes from django dot shortcuts import render class the render class is used to render our HTML pages on the browser so that's the reason I am adding this render class and the next render and the next one I want to import the class name from this models page so let's copy this class name go to views from uh, from this models page is inside this insert record so insert rvc the project name that models import i'm adding my class name i want to save the data into an sql server database so we need to import python py odbc and the next step come to the terminal which is a command prompt we have to install our uh, py odbc class in packages so pip install py odbc enter
and here we got a message the requirement already satisfies which means the python odbc package is installed successfully into our project after that in the next step and uh, let's define the function def def sell records is my function name a request colon in this function i'm adding the code to insert records so which means i'm posting the data into database so if request dot method the method double equals to post colon if request dot post dot get method in this get method the get values we are getting from the text box control so now uh, at this moment just leave it blank and let's copy this one and paste here and paste here we have three properties so i require three request.post.get after that add the colon then insert student values is an object name those values i'm getting from this insert data the class name so after that uh, let's add our properties insert values dot the properties we are getting from this models class to the name st name is equals to i want to save the values from this value and this value we are getting from the text box control again insert values dot the second property name is student email copy this one and paste here is equals to let's add the second value for the email and insert values dot the third property name is a student mobile number st mob copy this one and request dot get dot this one i'm adding here after that when we want to insert records into an sql server database we need to use a cursor method this cursor method is execute our select select statements or stored procedures so let's define the cursor is an object and before that we need to define our connection string so c o n is equals to p y o d b c dot connect method and this connect method between single quotes and driver is equals to between curly brackets the driver is the sql server sql server semicolon after that the next one after that between single quotes i'm adding the server server is equals to between single quotes our sql server name here this one user pc sql express so let's add that one user f1 pc backward slash express semicolon then the next parameter is our database database b capital a b capital database colon our database is cm let's copy this cm database semicolon and the last one trusted connection trusted underscore connection is equals to s this is your connection properties of our sql server now let's add the con here dot cursor method and this cursor method as a tool is used to execute our sql statements so let's execute cursor dot execute 
the executing the insert statement insert into insert into our table name is uh, student table copy this one press here values here are the values we are getting from using single quotes plus double quotes plus plus the student name this one copy this one paste here comma let's copy this one paste here and the last one the last one we don't require comma here make sure the parenthesis first parenthesis is for the exit values and this one for the execute method the second parenthesis once the execute this insert statement we need to commit our values cursor dot commit method commit method then then this function this SCO records function return render render request index.html index.html then the else part the else is for the first if else instead of writing the same thing the return method let's add the yeah, return render method that's it let's save this file save all uh, don't do any gaps here yeah? let's see so this file so all now open index.html now let's add some html code doc type html let's see this one i have to close html header section i'm adding the title tag insert records into sql server database is the title of my web page after that i'm adding the body tag insert this body i'm adding center tag and the center tag i'm adding h1 how to uh, how to insert just copy this part sql server database H3 Django Web Tutorials. Tutorials. After headings, I'm adding a horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding a table element that the border is equals to one. Let's close the table. We are the table data. The first one is our employee name, student name. Here we are using student name. No? So student student name which is a label and the next table i'm adding the input element type input type is equals to text and uh, let's close this text box add some more properties placeholder student name and here the most important property i'm adding name is equals to here the name uh, in the database, I'm adding this st name. Copy this one, and between double quotes, I'm adding student name. And this student name, we need to add here. Post the cut. The text box values we're getting here. Again, switch back. Copy this tr paste here and paste here we have three values here uh, student email student email here the column name is a student email copy this one and paste here and also we need to add here the student email and the last property we require the student mobile stmob copy that one 
paste here this one is a mobile number mobile number and also the views we require to add the student mobile HTML that's it let's save this views page make sure this request dot post get a get method we need to add the name values now for the table I'm adding horizontal line inside the horizontal line when we want to insert the course we require one button control so let's add the button control input type is equals to submit I'm adding submit type and the value of the button and the value of the button is equals to insert let's close the button control and after that uh, up to now we have just finished the designing part let's save this index.html save all now let's configure urls.py open urls.py and here let's import uh, from dot import views so the views page the HTML templates pages we are getting from this views pages so path within single quotes comma views dot views dot I'm adding the save records copy that one uh, not here here in the URL save records our function name we need to add here let's save this file save all then the most important step in the settings of py we need to add our application name and the settings.py notice the install underscore apps let's add our fun uh, insert rc our application name we need to add here and also in the template section we need to add our templates in this directory's attribute so i am joining the templates folder with the base directory so os.path dot join method base directory comma within single quotes i'm adding templates the folder name which contains our html pages that's it let's save this file save all notice here i am not adding any databases because i have configured our connection string in this uh, views page and now again switch back to the index.html uh, after the horizontal line i'm adding the form tag the method we are posting the method so let's add the post close this form tag and the form tag i'm closing after the button control and one more important step when we are posting data in django web applications we need to add this code csrf underscore token this csrf underscore token it protects our data from the hackers so if we don't add this csrf underscore token when we are posting the data we will get an error so make sure add this line when you are posting the data and once the record is inserted i want to display a small message for that i'm adding small uh, uh, javascript here return uh, return alert alert message between single quotes uh, a record is saved successfully that's it let's save the project save all i'm saving all the files in our project then let's run the server python manage.py run server enter and if you notice once i run the server we don't have any issues but it's showing some unapplied migrations it's a small warning so let's control c here uh, just copy this one to apply our migrations python manage.py migrate to migrate all the packages into our project and 
Now after adding the migration part, next let's run the server. See now when I run the server we don't have any issues and also we don't have any the warnings, the migration warnings here. And below that this is a link for our web server. Control plus mouse click. And here we got the final output of our project. The header tags. Let's add the student name. And the student name is Charan. Charan at gmail.com. And the mobile number is 12345. Now before insert this record, let's check in our database. Uh, execute. Right now this student table, ST table contains zero rows. Let's insert the record. Insert. See here we got a message, the JavaScript message, alert message, record is saved successfully, click OK. Oops, here we got another, it's non top, let's check here, go to views page, to insert the records, or oh, here the student name, student email here. And the last one, student mobile, SOM. We have to add this value, STMOB. We forgot to add this one here, student name, student email, and student mob. Copy this one and paste here. Let's save this file, save all. Let's run the server, control C. Run the server. So after I run the server, we don't have any issues. Now run the server, control plus mouse click. Now we'll check the final output. The student name is Charan, student email, Charan at gmail.com. The mobile number is 12345. Now before insert the records, let's check in our database. Uh, let's execute. Right now this table contains zero rows. Let's insert. Click insert. Record is saved successfully. Click OK. Now let's check in our database. I'm executing the table. See so here we got the challenge details is added successfully. Let's add the another record is uh, Peter pet at gmail.com. The mobile number is 979. Click insert. Record is saved successfully. Click OK. Now we'll check in our database. Click Exit. So here we got the Peter details are inserted successfully. That's it. In this video, I have shown how to insert records into an SQL Server database in Django Web Tutorials.